Game of Thrones Season 8 was divisive, but things would likely have been even worse if one of David Benioff and D.B. Weiss' ideas had come to fruition. Successfully landing the dragon-sized plane that was Game of Thrones was never going to be easy, and always set to cause some level of consternation. Still, few would have predicted just how big the backlash would become across the final six episodes of the HBO behemoth. Benioff and Weiss have faced the brunt of the ire for Game of Thrones ending, and a major part of that is their decision to have truncated seasons 7 and 8. That was entirely their creative choice, but could have been quite different, Benioff and Weiss originally pitched a trilogy of Game of Thrones movies to close out the show's run, rather than the final two seasons. The TV show already blurred the lines between television and cinema, but this would have been a radical shift that, while certainly bold and likely a commercial success, would have been a disaster. Game of Thrones movie trilogy would have been more rushed than seasons 7 and 8. Although there are varying opinions on what went wrong with Game of Thrones season 8, the single biggest issue is that the story was rushed. That's not just the fault of the final season, but was true of season 7 as well, with the problems simply exacerbated by season 8 being the last one and put under greater scrutiny, the penultimate season received nowhere near as much backlash, despite equally egregious flaws. That was a major concern when reducing what could have been 20 episodes down to 13, and would be so much worse with a movie trilogy. Game of Thrones seasons 7 and 8 did have some longer than usual episodes to account of the shorter number of installments. This meant the total runtime of the two seasons combined works out at around 15 hours, though that's still a little way short of what it would have been with the usual number of episodes. At an absolute maximum, being as generous as possible, the movie trilogy could have totaled 9 hours, and more likely 7 or 8. The story was already rushed, and this would have been told in roughly half that time. Viewed through that lens, the idea of ending Game of Thrones with a trio of movies doesn't just seem risky or even foolish, but downright impossible. There's very little that could be cut, as proven by most storylines needing more time, and even being ruthless and, say, getting rid of things like the plan to capture a white, it's just going to race through plot and lose even more of the character development that made the show special. The show never had any problems with looking cinematic while telling a great TV story, and a movie would have just compounded every single issue the ending had. Game of Thrones movies would have faced an even bigger backlash. Kit Harington looking shell-shocked as Jon Snow in Game of Thrones Season 8. There was already a backlash to Game of Thrones Season 8, but that likely would have been even worse had HBO Green lit the idea to complete the story in theaters rather than on television. Given the problems would almost certainly have been greater, then the number of people angered by the direction it went in would also have increased, which would mean intensifying the response, and it would be even harder to defend the choices made.